Hello, hello, hello. Hello, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. You too. You know, I, I always I always get a happy dance when I know I'm going to see you and spend some crafty time with you. It always makes me happy. Me too. <laughs> You're the best. So let me find us. So I'm trying to, are we here? Are we here? Yeah. Yes, we're here. Uh, <laughs> Deborah Haskell, Lynn McKinney. Yep, Hello. there they are. Doing hello, it? hello, everybody. Welcome to Decoupage Queen's Creative Hour. My name is Terry Lightsey, and we're always so excited when Justin from the Crafty Brother has some time for us. So, yay! Oh, I'm always so excited to be here. <laughs> Thanks for having I me. I always look forward to the days. You know, I even tell you, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> I can't like, count the days till the next one. <laughs> I'm here. So, of course, we have our friends popping in here. So, hello, Trina. So, yeah. there's Deborah and Lynn and Caroline. So, as you can see, if you could see your name pops up on the screen right here. Hi, Lynn. This is just our little way of saying hello to you um, when Justin's creating and my way of trying to do my best not to interrupt him, if at all possible. <laughs> oh, fine. Please interrupt. I love when somebody else does the talking. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, if you um, have any questions for Justin, I'll be sure to, uh, you know, read them off and get those over to him. And yeah. then as always um, on Decoupage Queen's Creative Hour, at the end of Creative Hour, we give away a goodie bag full of Decoupage Queen rice papers. And all you need to do is make sure you're following. Okay. So most of you guys know, but those who don't know that Justin has another page called Just Crafting. So yeah. we want to make sure that we're following both the Crafty Brother and Just Crafting and Decoupage Queen. So I know, I know it's, you know, three places this time, but it's easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? For a goodie bag of rice papers. Yeah, absolutely. And if I you're think like, so. Do things, and those can be checked off real quick. So add it yep. to your to-do list and check it off real quick. Real yeah. quick. And then once you've done so, you just let me know, and then I put your name on the wheel, and then we spin the little wheel and yep. get our little winner. Mm -hmm. So one last thing. I know most of you are used to watching Justin in portrait mode. So when he's on with Decoupage Queen, we do have him turn. So if you want to, if you turn your phone or tablet in landscape, then you will see the full screen. Otherwise, that's why it looks a little different today. But other than that, if you're ready, my friend, I'll turn it over to you. Yeah, I'm ready. Ready as I'll ever be. Hey, everybody. Thank you all for being here today. I'm going to go over uh, everything that I'm going to be working on. And it's a really fun project. You all know that I've been buying the palettes lately. And sometimes we get some random things and I'm like, what the heck? And people, most people would be like, this is trash. Well, I found one boot and it was brown, but I just painted it white. Um, and it's a size 10 and a half. It actually fits me. So I would say this is too big and clunky to probably put on like a shelf or a uh, wall. So we're going to make this a floor planter, put some flowers in it. We're going to be using this kind of paper. And this is called boots or garden boots. Garden boots, just a section. I think I'm going to use the top half because I think it would be too literal if we put cowboy boots on a boot. And then I'm also going to be using these amazing uh, Teresa Renee art, the four birds. I'm going to be using two of her birds. So we're going to decoupage those on there as well. But first, we're just going to get into painting. I've got a little bit of wood you bend that we're going to add on here. We're going to paint this brown again, but then I just painted it white so I can decoupage some areas. So I'm going to get that paper out, get my placement kind of where I want it, and then we're going to go ahead and paint everything, and then we'll bedazzle it and st stick some flowers in there. <laughs> so, Justin, when you buy these palettes, do you have any idea what they are? Like, do they say, like, gardening or, you know, oh, houseware? Just a total... They're all random, yeah. I mean, sometimes you can get a little glimpse of something peeking out of a box, but you just never know. I mean, we get some real crazy stuff on there. Uh, stuff that I, I have to look up and I'm like, what is this? This is some fancy people stuff. But, you know, <laughs> that could fun. be fun though. It reminds oh. it, it, 
when you say that, I think of those, you know how they have like, what is it like storage wars or something like that when they yeah. buy? Yeah. Don't know. Yeah. Those shows. Yeah. Those shows are so fun. Storage wars. And then there's, uh, I don't know, there's all kinds of them. There's like three different storage wars. Um, and they're all very good. So guys, this is all would you bend. I'm just taking it out of the package. I'm using a few different kinds here, but this will just add some fancy dancy to it and we'll embellish it. And I love these papers. They're gonna be so pretty on here. And I'm going for silvers this time. I've got lots of silver bling. I debated gold or silver, but silver one on this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and paint everything silver. Ooh, let me get a brush that works. Hello, and Jesus. I'm going to go ahead and put, sorry, Justin, your link tree okay. in here so that oh, they can yes. find anything that you're using today. Thank you so much. I'm going to add just a little bit of this uh, bronze color in with the silver so it's not so stark. Dirty it up just a little bit because food tank is supposed to be spotless. Not if you're using them right. Of course not, especially boots. Right. So I'm adding a little bit of bronze, a little bit of silver. I'm just painting, getting all my painting out of the way. I do have some half beads that I might use for studs. I'm not sure if we're going to use those, but I have them already ready to go. So we'll paint those as well. Get all of our painting done. So we can get to the fun stuff. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing on your weekend? I was telling Justin here, it's yucky and rainy. Yeah. It's and weird. over in his area, it's beautiful. Yeah, but it was yucky though the last couple of days. We we actually had four tornadoes that touched down in, in our area. It's kind of scary. Oh my gosh. I mean, y'all probably, California, I'm sure that y'all get lots of crazy weather, but you know, in the mountains, it's kind of quiet and calm here. So whenever stuff like that happens, we all get excited. We're like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Texas getting snow or something, you know, people freak out. But, you know, Tornadoes, any kind of thunderstorms like that, scary. I was live in yes. my group when it was going on, and we had to end the live so I could finish it the next day because it was just getting too bad. Blake came on the live and said, "Tornado uh, warning, get inside." Oh, 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 okay. Uh, I'll be right there. <laughs> it's like oh, tornado yeah. warning. I'll be right there. <laughs> right. I know, and I was like, "It's fine. It looks it looks nice outside today," and. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like tornadoes. It didn't look nice, but I didn't. I didn't think that it, any would touch down here, but they sure did. Uh, Laurel says, "I love the mirror hanging behind you, Justin. I think I remember you doing it. Maybe." Oh, uh, yes, uh, it was in my living room, and then I moved it out here because I had too many mirrors. But yeah, I painted that. It used to just be white, I believe. I don't know. It's been a while, but yeah, we we painted that on Paint Pixie's page. It was a fun project. Okay, so all my uh, all of my stuff's painted here. So now we'll go ahead and paint this boot. But before I do that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, a wet paintbrush and tear off some of these little areas that I want. I love it all. So I'm going to save. I'm just going to go ahead and divide this paper in half with the with the wet paintbrush, and then I'll save it for another project. Ooh, I kind of want the Chantilly too. Shoo, so many good things on these papers, guys. Mercedes, no, you don't have to watch all three pages. You can watch on either one of the three, but we're just asking that you follow all three to be on the wheel. Yeah, we would appreciate it. Okay, I'm just going to tear this. And then we will cut that in half. And then I'm going to put these birds on here. So I'm just using a brush so that we have kind of a tattered edge because we're just going to dig pause this on here and go crazy go crazy crazy go crazy on it friends i think i'm going to do three pieces we'll make this into something too miss edie says she loves your apron oh thank you uh my friend sandy morgante gave it to me last night on happy mail on ding dong friday i love it she put both pages names on it and it's denim so i love that Okay, so I'm just tearing these off, and then we'll just see where we can place them on this boot, guys, with them still looking cute. I think I'm going to tether this a little bit more. We don't need all this. Everybody good? It's so quiet here. 
I had crickets play in before, but I guess she timed out. <laughs> Shelly Stacklin like, says, you're the palate king. Oh, my gosh. I got one more. <laughs> I am having an auction tonight, guys, at 6 p.m. If anybody needs betting, I've got tons of betting. Uh, I've got all kinds of stuff. It's not just betting. And then I'm selling the crafts behind me as well. Um, and that's going to be on the Crafty Brother or just Crafting? The Crafty Brother, yeah. I was telling everybody, like, uh, I've already made the schedule for the Crafty Brother, so we're just keeping that this month. And then next month, it will mostly be on my new page. But I haven't even had that page for 30 days, so... We're testing the waters to see how that works out. And it'll be fine. Yes, it will. Everything's you always know, fine. That everybody's saying that they're gonna follow you wherever you go. So oh, you're the sweetest. Don't make my day so bright. Okay, there we go. It's it's tattered and looking good. So now let's get out this boot, guys, and see where we're gonna place it. I'm gonna go ahead and decoupage it on there, then we can seal it and dry it and paint. Um, I think I'm going to do the sunflower right on the front. And I do Rhonda have Lucas says she loves your new craft room. Oh, thank you, friend. I love it, too. It's already a mess. Uh, it didn't take... Woo! Well, that didn't work. I said, I hope this works. That's okay. We got a plan B. Uh, plan B. <laughs> I Woo! <laughs> to keep this thing open. But then I took the provider. I bet it's going to break again. We'll see. Okay. I'm just trying to keep this boot open, but I was like, what can I use? You could use cardboard. I bought a little uh, picture from Dollar Tree, but it's too wide. But I'm just trying to keep it open. Then we're going to stuff it with rocks. So I think that this will be just fine. But if y'all try to make one of these at home, you could use anything that's a cylinder shape. But you could also just use plastic and stuff it in there, hopefully. This thing does have a zipper. Let me unzip it. I don't know too much <laughs> I don't know too much about ladies, ladies' shoes, but here we go. Um, I did try <laughs> on they fit me, guys. It's a lady size 10 and a half. And I said, that's just my size. Ask me how I know. I'm just kidding. Don't. <laughs> I've only I've only tried on ladies' shoes one other time, and that was at the Pink Chicken in Oklahoma last year. But they put me in full drag, and I was like, oh, gosh, nobody should see that. Okay, Whew. now I have to get used to setting again, guys, because I've been standing for six months. Oh, that's true. And here we are sitting again, so I'm having to lap craft. But, and okay. I also remember saying to you, you're going to get spoiled by that sink behind you. So do you, yeah. right? I, I have a camping sink in here, so that <laughs> that's fine. It's not as good as my other sink, but it's fine. It's workable. Okay. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. I mean, it provides water. That's what a sink needs to do. But I have to fill it up, though, which is not too bad. Okay. Y'all, this is going to be a beautiful craft. If they fight you, then it's going to be pretty. Right. If they don't fight you, you then, you know, you're not doing something right. <laughs> okay. And here we go. And yeah, zip is it. Sorry, Terry. She said, oh my. For what? Because I'm struggling with this plastic. This is uh, like come on. You know, it's real life, right? So oh, for sure. We're you know, you know me. Yeah. Nothing in life is easy, really. No, that is for sure. <laughs> okay. I'm getting the hot sweats. Oh, you know what you could do is just put your foot in it and put your leg up on the table. Oh, you could do that. You could do that, but I finally got it. Woo, so that will hold that shape. Okay, hallelujah. So now, now I'm going to put some hot glue down in here, guys, and some rocks so that it has a little bit of weight. That uh, might be interesting to see you crafting with, you know, one leg up on the table and trying. Oh my gosh, that that could be part of a, a challenge. Right? Crafting. <laughs> we'll have to try that sometime, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so I got these rocks from Dollar Tree, but they're actually happy. I'm just going to put these down in here to lay it down. And then I'm going to put a layer of hot glue over top of these. I don't think, well, we'll use the whole bag. There's only like five pebbles left. Might as well. Okay, 
now we'll just pour some hot glue on top of it. Lots and lots of glue. Everybody good? Yep, everybody's good. Everybody's saying hello. So hopefully you guys, I've put in all the links for Just Crafting, The Crafty Brother, and Decoupage Queen. Um, okay. The comments are flying up though, so if you miss, if you're missing it, just let me know, and I'll be more than happy to put it back in there. Um, we've got over 300 friends with us today, so it, it could be, yeah, it could fly up on you. So just Don't let me know. Back. Way to go! All right, so now we have the rocks in here. So I think I'm going to put. Do we want the bird on the front or the side? Maybe the side. We'll do the sunflowers in the front. That looks nice. Okay, so I'm just going to mod podge these on here, guys. And I'm going to use a plastic bag. Sure, got glue strings everywhere. Okay. <laughs> and my, my comments aren't, uh, my, I don't know, my tablet's acting crazy, so I'm not seeing comments, but I hope everybody's good. <laughs> oh, everybody's good. Everybody's saying hello. Happy Saturday. They can't wait to see this project. They love your, they love your craft shack. Oh, um, <laughs> Lois is cute. She said, did my homework, liked following and shared. <laughs> oh, thank you, friend. You're so kind. So I'm just going to stick this on here, guys, and then use a plastic bag to kind of smooth it out. And then we're going to paint it and blend everything in. I'm going to use some burlap at the top, some lace and some rope. So it's going to be kind of country western, but a little bit modern country western. Sorry, Sandy Hinkleman. I uh, obviously was typing your name in on the wheel and typed it in the comments instead. So that's why your name just popped up. <laughs> but I'll be, I'll, um, it's on the wheel now, though. <laughs> there we go. Yep, y'all just keep commenting and you might win a prize pack. Woohoo! And they have the most beautiful paper, guys. If you've never checked out Decoupage Queen, you're coming from my page, please go check them out. You won't be disappointed. Okay. So put that on there. It's on the front. <clears throat> I'll put this bird kind of on the side, I think. Yeah, we'll just kind of match it up with this flower. That'll be pretty. And then I'm going to put one bird on the uh, toe of the shoe, and then I'll put the other one just any place I can find a spot. Birds and flowers, my favorite things. Avodney watching from beautiful Central Florida. Oh, hello. Hello, friends. Miss Kathy says she's it's raining and so she's cleaning and watching you. Oh, nice. I like to clean when it's nasty outside. You ain't got nothing else to do. I, I don't mind cleaning though. I'll be glad when I get to that point where I can just be like, oh, I got a day off. Let me clean the house. But that's few and far between these days. <laughs> yeah, I would uh, rather be cleaning than packing. Right. Yeah, tell everybody about your new new place, friend. Yeah, so we <laughs> are, I mean, the boys are moving uh, to a new house. Um, we get the keys on the first, so Ooh, we thanks. are, I actually started to be a big girl yesterday and started packing some boxes, so, you oh, know, wow. but it was oh. funny because, so we ordered this big moving pack from Home Depot, and I barely just packed one, like, credenza of my... <laughs> crafting supplies and i said uh yeah um i think we need to order <clears throat> more oh. boxes <laughs> right we haven't even packed the house yet that's oh. just crafting supplies <laughs> it's never any fun but it's gotta be done laurianne says i would never think to craft on a boot why well, sure you can craft with anything guys jazz it up I'm making this into a planter, but I mean, if you could find a smaller size boot, like a five, something like that, you could definitely make it a shelf setter or a wall hanger. And that's what I was originally thinking with this boot, because it's got this cool leather strap right here, so you could use that as a hanger. And this is like a lady's riding boot, I guess. It's not really a cowboy boot, but we're, we're going to add spurs and add some woodie bend to make it look more country western. Because right now, I don't look too country western. Then we're going to put a bird on the toe. I think I'm going to use this one. 
So uh, the way you get on the wheel, friends, is you have to make sure you're following Just Crafting, the Crafty Brother, and Decoupage Queen. So I'm going to go ahead and pop the links in again for you all, but that's all you have to do. And then I put your name on the wheel. Yes. Okay, we'll put this little girl. I think it's a girl. And then we'll give her a crown too, but I'm going to put her right here in the front. And then I'll just snip the sides to get it to lay kind of flat. I did bring my iron if I need it, but it should be fine. We're going to repaint this too. And what kind of uh, material is this printed on? It's not paper, right? The, the one, rice paper? Yeah, the... the uh, sunflowers is rice paper, but this one's like a plastic almost, right? Or is this no. part two? No, it's all rice paper. Oh, okay. Well, this one feels a little bit thicker. I like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute now. Yeah. <laughs> it feels no, a little different. No, so all of our prints um, are done uh, in Italy. So oh. we have, yep. Mm -hmm. I love the quality. Y'all can mess around with this like quite a bit though, and it's not going to tear like a lot of papers. Yes, it's it's. This is very very thick. Okay, so there's a little bird, and this will look cute when it dries. So Linda says this is going to be the coolest boot I've ever seen. Uh, it could be. I don't know, friend. I've never done this before, but y'all know me. There's no time to try it for the first time. Been on a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you can imagine it, you can usually make it come true with crafting. That's so true. If you can picture it in your head. And I have more of these birds, guys. So she's going to give away a prize pack, but I bought, or I uh, ordered two things of these little birds. So I'm going to give away some birds too today. Woohoo! Okay. Of course. Okay. So we're just getting this on here. I'm going to give it a quick dry and then we'll go ahead and start painting everything and adding the embellishments. But I think that that's going to be really pretty. We'll see. Okay. So don't forget, Justin's auction is at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard yeah. Time. But then you're also, are you live after that today too? Is it? I'm just I'm just a guest tonight on Chris Hunter's new page. Um, her and her friend Michael, they have a little segment late night Saturdays. And she said, I'm going to be her first guest. It's called um, 69 Questions. So they ask me 69 questions in three minutes, and then I have to answer them. And then we spend like the next 30 minutes going over answers and just chit chatting and hanging That's out. Fun. But it'll be fun. Yeah, I'm excited to see. So I'm just going to dry this real quick and then we'll get to painting. But I'm just going to paint this like a cream color, a light brown, and then a black heel. Um, and then we're going to add spurs to it as well. Uh, this is actually a piece of fishing rod. Oh, I have this too. Let's add this on there. I forgot about this other Chantilly piece. i got to find a place for it. We'll just put it down here. That will be cool. So uh, I know some of you all are having a, some problems with having a full screen, it seems. Um, the only thing I can say is you might want to check your phone. The orientation might be locked. So if it's locked on portrait, that's why when you're turning your screen, it's not going anywhere. So you have to unlock it. So oh, okay. it's unlocking the orientation. Yep. Good to know. Lynn Gibbs says she's, uh, watching from England. Well, thank you, Lynn. I'm going to tear this off a little bit more so it's more of a straight line where the zipper is. There we go. Thank you, everybody. Oh, everybody, nice. you're so kind. Uh, oh, Karma says, watching while doing my taxes. Oh, yum. It's that time. Zenobia says, watching from South Africa. You is amazing. Hello, you is amazing, friend. Okay, I'm just getting this doll laid down. It's looking good. Okay, now we're going to dry it. And I do have a few little wrinkles in there, but it's okay, guys. Boots are wrinkly. <laughs> Thank you, Tina. I appreciate that. Yeah, so I did do a tour. It is up on my, 
my page. So thank you so much. Oh, the new place. Yes, it's beautiful. You're going to make so many good memories there, Fran. I just keep saying this time next month, we'll be there. This time next month, we'll be there. Oh. So Deborah would like to know, um, Justin, would you be able to leave that boot outside? No, uh -uh, probably not. I mean, I could use the outdoor sealer on it, but it's got paper on it, guys. And plus it's cloth and it's going to have fake flowers. I, don't, I wouldn't recommend that. Because when it first time it rains, all that water is going to go down in the boot and it's just going to get gross. Yes, uh Susan Marie, I'm staying in Cali. So you could put on like a carport or a porch, something like that with a with a shelter. It would be fine. Let me just dry this and we'll get to painting. <laughs> Catherine Kelly says, heck, Justin turned a boot into a fishbowl. Yes, I still have that. It's in my living room. Uh, we had to replace the fish. I made that probably about eight, nine months ago. Last, I don't know. It's been a while, but we finally lost that fish, and then we got another one. It's oh, did you? Yeah, because the last time you were on with me, it was still alive. Yes, yeah. So, it, yeah, it just died like a month ago, and uh, we went and picked him out another one. He was a good fish, though. We had him for a long time. Betas just don't last that long, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go with uh, Chai Latte by Pink Pixie. We're just going to start a little base coat here, and then I'm going to add in some other browns. I have the ch chocolate souffle. Um, we're just going to beat this in here, then I'll darken the areas, and we'll paint the buckle and the heel different colors. But right now, I'm just trying to get color on this. We're trying to get this done in an hour, guys. We'll see if we uh, see how, how we do. I think we'll be just fine. You know I won't rush ya. Oh, well, I mean, still. Mm. Oh, uh, Elaine Wrestler says, you need lights on this. Light it up. Girl, I got some lights. She knows me. I've got some. <laughs> I'm going to add some lights to the flowers. I love my lights, y'all. Okay, so this is called Chai Latte by Pink Pixie. And then I'm going to add some of the uh, chocolate souffle. And then I might add a little bit of bronze. So we'll darken some areas. But this will be my lightest color that I have. Um, and then we'll add some brown tones and make it look a little grungy. And I'm going to paint the buckle silver. And we already have our wood bin painted, so we'll apply all that stuff in a little bit. Okay. Woo! So California weather is crazy today. Oh my goodness. It, it was it's that kind of rain when it's coming down so hard so much that even when you got the windshield wipers on high, it's oh, still man. not fast enough. That kind of rain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no boy no. Nope. And of course, you know, I had to be out early in this morning in it. So <laughs> so geez. Jeez. Okay, yeah. so this is the chocolate souffle. We're going to go a little bit darker in some spots. You guys might just break this wheel. Yeah, <laughs> all amazing. There's so many names. Did you hear my fingers? Are just yes, <laughs> that's amazing. Thank you, guys. You are so great. And good luck to everyone. Yes. And guys, I'm going to do a couple giveaways, too. So if you don't win that one, you might win something else. So just get your comments in. But this is just basically a big planter, guys. That's how I'm treating it. Just a big planter for flowers. I love it already. She's looking fun. Uh-huh. Okay. Margaret says, love the creativity Justin always shows us. Oh, you're so kind. It's fun to Aww. make stuff that you haven't seen before just to see if it works sometimes, you know? Um, well, thank very, you, Pat. 
I have a very curious mind. Elaine says, Justin can craft with anything. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sandy would like to know what paint you are using. Um, I'm using Paint Pixie paints. They're chalk paints, guys. So you don't really need a, a primer, but I did paint this off white first, but it sticks to anything. And I'm using Chai Latte. That's the light cream color and chocolate souffle. Those are the two colors I'm using right now. Um, I had a little bit of yellow, but I don't think that we need it. I'm going to put something over this boot. So let's go ahead and paint the bottom part, the sole black. And then we'll add a little bit more pops of black in here, but I don't want too dark. Just want it to look like a, I mean, it is a boot, but I want it to look like a boot again. Tina says, Justin can make any vision come to life. Oh my gosh, I don't know about that. I've had some doozies. I've had, y'all remember the sheep I tried to make? That thing, poor thing. <laughs> poor <laughs> thing. <laughs> Made it out of a milk jug and it like it just like violated. It looked terrible. <laughs> it don't always work, but you know, somebody bought it and somebody loves it. Uh, I added more oh, books. When Justin, Ro uh, Moffat says, I've never worked with rice paper. What, Ro? Me and Ro message each other every day before we go to bed. I'll have to send you some, Ro. Aw, I love that. It's hardly ever miss a day and if we do then we message each other the next morning and say have a good day which usually just good night oh so, i love that you know, right okay i think this is good enough on the paint i'm going to give this a quick dry and then we're going to paint the buckles and the straps a different color i'm going to go a little bit darker brown on the strap um marie I'm not sure. Uh, she says, I can't find Paint Pixie's page. Please send the link again. If you're looking for um, to get the Paint Pixie paints from Justin, it's on his link tree, which I will put in here for you right yeah. now. Yeah, they're all of the links are right here together, guys. I'm the crafty brother with my calendar. They're all posted right here in one place. Give us a quick dry. Oh, Amanda Armstrong says she hasn't either. She doesn't what? Sorry. She had she hasn't worked with rice paper either. Oh really? Well, Amanda, I have a box coming for you probably when I get back from Indiana though. So I'll try to send you some. But you might win some today if y'all keep commenting. Mm-hmm. Um, Justin. Sherry uh -huh. would like to know, Sherry Mays, Justin, can you use Mod, Mod Podge on a on boots? Mod Podge on boots. Um, I just did. I mean, to craft with. <laughs> yeah, I just used it on boots. But I mean, are you talking about for like to wear, like as a sealer or what? Yeah, I wouldn't. That's all she, yeah, that's all she said. Can I, you use it on boots? I mean, I wouldn't like seal your shoes and wear them out to the honky tonk. Uh, but you know, for crafts, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. Coral Hamilton says, I'm going to decoupage my headboard soon. My cat ruined the leather padding, so I'm going to, vi going to I think it's, it's supposed to say rip it off and decoupage it. That would be amazing. You can decoupage over leather, guys. Yes, you most certainly can. You can decoupage over about anything, wicker, leather fabric so you probably don't even need to pull that off you probably just i mean well i don't know depending on how ripped it is uh penelope kroger says does rubbing the plastic bag on the rice paper keep it from wrinkling it gets some of the wrinkles out but i still have some wrinkles guys it's uh you know it's a round object but it's just gonna look like a planter that's how i'm treating it it'd be fine um diane is saying what time justin are you on with chris thanks um i think around 10 10 30 i'm not sure she'll do her pop on and then whenever she invites me to come in we don't have a real set time though so sometime tonight late night 
Um, uh, thanks, Gail. She says, hey, Terry, how are you doing? I love you and Justin. Oh, Brian, <laughs> how you doing? Okay, so I think we're done with the painting part. So now we can add some bling. I will seal this, guys, as well with the, with the waterproof sealer. I thought about painting some flowers on it, but I think it's fine. Uh, Ellen says, Justin, I love the craft jack. Oh, and Kathy Abercrombie says, loving the boot, do a pair and auction them off. Oh, that'd be fun. Well, guys, uh, this one only had one shoe. And I said, what the heck? I had, I got three uh, different shoes and none of them had a match. So this was only boot. So I said, I can craft with this, but the other ones are just like sneakers. You can still craft with sneakers, guys. You can put floral arrangements in little high heels and all kinds of stuff. I've done that on my page. They're fun. And then any kind of metal, I'm just painting it back silver, okay? It's just an idea because maybe y'all have, shoot, things happen to shoes all the time, especially if you have puppies, uh, you know. So if you got one shoe that's still good, crack with it. Okay, so now let's add our woodie band on there and our stones. <laughs> um, Deborah Bancroft says, would love to see your fishbowl. Do you have a video of it? Uh, we did that probably a little over a year ago. I have it in the house, so I'll, I'll bring it out here and show you all sometime. It was made with the Sparkle 6, I believe, when we were doing the events. Um, and I think the theme was, oh, I know when it was, I was dressed like, uh, it was the Yellowstone event. I was dressed like, uh, what's his name? Uh, the guy, y'all know who I'm talking about. Um, let me go grab that fishbowl real quick. Do I have time? It'll take two Absolutely. minutes. Absolutely. Of course I'll you even, do. It won't even take two minutes, but everybody's asking about it. So let me go grab it. I'll be right back. Okay. So, hi, Lori. Thought I was already following you. Just checked. Guess I lost you in a Facebook update, but following you again now. Just a reminder for y'all to check to make sure you still are following. Thank you, Lori. Yes, that's a great little reminder. Every now and again, I would just, you know, when you're watching your creator, just make sure you're following because sometimes, just sometimes, the book likes to do that and unfollows unfollows our friends so hello roly polies in the house hello everyone you guys are amazing this wheel is absolutely full as can be i send some more rain to arizona wendy <laughs> i'd love to send this rain right now Go to Arizona, please. I would love it. Justin is the best. Yes, he is, Diane. Thank you. You guys are all awesome. Thank you so much, Darlene. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. No problem. Okay, so here it is. It's just a little fishbowl, guys. Isn't um, this awesome? And then it's got a little plant in the top, but he's doing good. Uh, well, his water looks a little murky, but, you know, he's doing good. I'll put him in the background, so. Whew, I'm out of breath. <laughs> said, Let me run. And then I was like, I can't run with him or I'll slosh him around. So, you know, he's in Oh, the you can't. Oh, please don't run. No, don't run. Yeah. <laughs> so it'll be fine. Okay, so this is dressed, and now we're going to add our woodie band. And I've got some fun strips here. I'm just going to use hot glue, guys, for time purposes. Uh, uh, we had a question. Um, let me find it one more time. I'm sorry. I don't remember who. Oh, there it is. Sandy. She says, so we should decoupage first, then paint? Um, I do because, you know, you can seal it, dry it, seal it. And then go ahead and paint because then your paper is not going to absorb the paint. Once you apply your sealer, it's going to repel the paint. So it makes it easier for me. But you could do either one. 
but you can mark out your spot that your paper is going to go then go ahead and paint but leave that background white and then you can go back in and do your decoupage so it doesn't matter whatever you prefer but i like painting right over top of it okay so i'm going to use this guys this is a big old uh applique from would you been and i'm going to put this across the top and then i'm going to put this one across the bottom i believe on the toe of the shoe and then we'll bend that a little bit and then i'm going to use these on the back to make some little spurs and i have a fishing reel piece so it kind of looks like a spur so we're going to make that into spurs so i'm going to heat up my would you been to activate it and to get it to bend and then we'll go ahead and apply these. Um, Angie Carson says, and that won't crackle and crumble afterwards on a boot. What is it? I'm not sure what she's talking about. She says, and that won't crumble and crackle afterwards on a boot. If you seal it, it shouldn't. Yeah, mm -hmm. I decoupage shoes and I wear that my tennis shoes and I wear them daily and they right. look perfect. So oh, perfect. Yeah, so there you go. Now I can see the comments. Hey, Carol Ruth, how you doing? Uh, Donna Rosecrans says, what's the name of the paper again? Miss the beginning. Of the paper, it's called Boots, Cowboy Boots, or something like that. Uh, let's see. It's called Garden Boots, guys. And you also get, like, I just use the birds. I use the top half, so you get a top pair of cowboy boots on there. I was debating which print I was going to use because I got a lot of really, really pretty ones. Um, I was going to use the two ladies that were dancing, but they're showing their derrieres. And I said, oh, they might not like that one. So I didn't use that one. But I think that that one would be pretty on one. They've got all kinds of beautiful papers. You know which one I'm talking about? Kind of looks like a lady's dancing with another thing that doesn't have hair. I don't know what it is. It's very cool, though. I have I'm the paper. Trying, I, I'm trying to think of which lady dancing. With yeah, I'll show you. So I'm putting this on the toe of the boot, guys, to jazz it up. And I asked my brother and Blake, because, you know, those are my go-to, those are my lifelines. I said, which one would look better on a cowboy boot? And they said, why do you want to put naked ladies on a boot? And I said, I just think they're cool and the shape is cool, but we'll use that one soon. So they both picked the sunflowers. And I said, okay, that's the obvious choice, but sounds good. <laughs> but if I was to do that one, I was going to make it, like, all kind of artistic and blues. And yeah. Things and stuff and go crazy but this one's more traditional so see the the foot of the boot it's got that little applique on see, it that's adding, perfect adding a little bit of detail and then i'm gonna heat this one up and put it around the top and then we might paint another one shoot up no i've got this one we'll use this one for up here so okay this will be good i get very excited wow we've got another person so pat connor says i've never tried rice paper either what guys it's so <laughs> affordable it's like two dollars and fifty cents go out to, go around and get you a line you'll, you'll never have to you get i'll tell you that if you guys, if any of you who are saying that you've never used rice paper or tried rice paper and have used napkins you're missing out yes you'll let never me get just tell you nope <laughs> mm-hmm and guys, like a pack of napkins on Amazon is like five, six dollars. So you might as well get you a, a big old piece of rice paper for that much. You'll love it much more. Oh they my goodness! Either, right? So many of them are saying, <laughs> "Nope, never, never, never." Okay, we're adding to your homework. You got to. There you try. go. You have got to try some rice paper. Have to. So this one, I'm going to bend it down just a little bit, guys. But these. The winter band that will kind of bend in whatever shape you want it. Okay. I'm just using uh, hot glue, but they do make a hot wood glue as well, guys. So you can use that as well. But for crafts, I just use hot glue. It's fine. Would you will tell you to just use wood glue, but I'm always like, I do what I want. <laughs> and it works fine. So I'm just going to put this over the strap, just add a little bit of detail over a little bird. Hello, Sandy Triplet. Hello. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe all of these. I've never tried. I've never tried. I've never tried. Y'all. 
Well, hopefully y'all will get to try it today. One of you will. One of you, hopefully. Maybe more than one, because I'm going to give away a couple too. We'll see. Yeah, guys, rice paper is the best. <coughs> okay, so we're just adding a little bit of detail. Now I'm just going to add this one. I have these little studs, but I don't know if I'm going to use them. So we got to add our spurs. Oh, yes, Mary Scott. So Mary Scott says, I think I'll be trying rice paper now if you guys are saying it's a lot better than napkins. Yes, you can pick it up a few times. You know, with napkins, as soon as you lay it down, it's going to rip if you try to pull it up. Yep, right that's it. Very forgiving. It's wonderful for beginners, too, guys, because napkins, in my opinion, are hard. I don't know. They, just they are very, they're, they're very, I always say they're very finicky, very finicky. Okay, I'm just going to add this one around this little strap at the front, and then we'll go ahead and start adding the fun stuff. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. And please check out Decoupage Queen if you're coming from my page and you haven't yet. You will not be disappointed. They've got everything. And that what can also be found on Justin's link tree, just so you know. Yes, everything I'm using today can be found on my link tree, all in one place. There you go. And then we're putting this around the top. So you're just going to hold this until it cools in your hand. And then you know you're fine to let go, but you just want to make sure it cools all the way. And then it dries the way that you mold it. Oh, decoupage a napkin onto a dryer sheet. That's fine. You can buy the blank pieces of rice paper too, guys, and decoupage on those. I do that a lot. <clears throat> Candy McCullen says, I would have never thought to use a boot to decorate with. Wow, amazing. Use brand. So now I'm going to try to make her a little, uh, I said her, this ain't a her, but you know, Try to make this boot a spur. So I'm going to use these two pieces, bend them a little bit, and glue them on. And then we'll glue this spur onto it. And then we'll add some silver embellishments. i got lots of them. <laughs> Elaine says, I need this boot for my porch. For a porch, yeah, that would be perfect. A covered porch, yeah, it would be fine out there. Just like I said, I'm going to use a waterproof sealer, but I wouldn't put it directly in the rain, though, because your boot's going to be full of water. Um, Jeanette, yes, Miss Jeanette, Justin's auction is at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today. Yes. Be there or be square. Be there, be square. Or whatever they say. Okay, so I'm just putting this on the hill, and then I'm going to heat this one up, put this on the hill. So creative. The boot is looking amazing. This boot is absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. And, y'all, I'm going to use a uh, gloss sealer so it'll look a little bit more like leather with the, with the sealer that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to use some E6000, or let's try the B7000. And a little bit of hot glue. And this woodie bend will keep it together. But I am going to have to heat it up a little bit more so I can bend them together. Let's see how this is looking. Okay, that looks fun. Yes, everyone is asking if you're in your craft shack. Yes, yes, guys. I did a live uh, out here last night in the craft shack. We'll be out here now, but... Y'all, it's not decorated. I'm trying. Hello, my name is Terry Lightsey. Justin is on with Decoupage Queen today for Creative Hour. So that's the voice you're hearing in the background. It's just me. Yeah. And guys, if y'all don't know Terry and you're coming from my page, please check out her amazing creations. She's very, very talented. She thinks uh -huh. it's something that I don't think of. And her creations are so beautiful. Thanks, friend. No, you're amazing. You always come out with something cool. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. that. Oh. And guys, I might drill a, a hole in this boot so it will have a little bit more support. Let me see. I've got a box cutter. 
I'm just trying to get this thing to stick. So let me use a box cutter real quick. We'll make it. We'll make it work. Uh, here's one. It's nice to meet all of you as well. Oh. <laughs> so I haven't. I intentionally haven't acknowledge these comments because it's going to be in my head now but you know everybody's saying the the song right the boots made for walking oh yes you know so i just figured i'll share it with you now so that way it can be in your head too <laughs> oh, come on boots start walking <laughs> okay i think that'll be fine i just gotta heat it up one more time and then push it together and then we'll move on to the jewelry and I'm going to add some burlap in the top and lace. And then we'll just add our flowers. But my flowers hardly take any time, y'all, because I'm quick with those. Um, I'm confused. I know your voice, but not understand why you are in Florida vacation or moving. I'm not anywhere near Florida. <laughs> I'm in California. Um, yeah, I, I'm not sure. I'm in California. Yeah, she's in California, friends. So I'm just looking for my burlap. Here it is. I'm going to stand up for a minute because I need to. <laughs> so I'm going to cut a little bit of burlap off of it here, just the top little layer, and then glue that around here just so it kind of looks like a planter a little bit. And then I'm going to add some lace and we'll add a little bit of bling here in just a second. Just going to glue this to the inside. Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Jan. <clears throat> uh, Deborah, can I? Uh, sure. Here you go. That is my page. I just, I craft right under my name. So just Terry Lightsey. Yeah, guys, go check her out. She's amazing. She makes the most beautiful creations. Uh, Brenda Sapp says, love your new craft room, Justin. How are you doing today? Oh, Hope you are having an amazing day. I am having a great day. We got a pallet earlier today, so it's a good day. <laughs> and then I'm going to fold this down kind of over top of it, so it kind of looks like a planter, guys. It's going to put oh. a little glue on the top. Um, Christy Pope would like to know, are you painting or staining the wood you bit? Um, well, I painted it, but we need to go back over it one more time with silver because it did absorb some of the paint, but we'll, we'll dry brush it with silver, but I don't want it to be too crazy. I want it to look kind of natural. We're going kind of rustic country with a little bit of flair, I guess. Okay. So we got a little bit of burlap there. Now I'm just going to use some lace and put that around the top to just kind of finish it off. Thank you guys. I really appreciate all of you who are doing that. Thanks, Justin. Yep, they're the best. Thank you, friends. You are the best. No. So you said you're going to go look at the new place today, do a walkthrough? Yes. What time is that? Um, it's at be, uh, they give us they gave us like a window between three and five. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah. Um, Robin Sinclair says, "Are you going to put a plant in this boot?" Yes, sunflowers, guys. I got some really beautiful sunflowers I picked up from Dollar General. They're three dollars each. I got three of them, but they're very, very large. They're beautiful. And then I got some white flowers from the Dollarist Tree, so I'm going to be adding that in there. Ooh, got too much trash on my table. Get out of here. Carla Duncan says you could put a roof on the boot and drill a hole in it to make it a birdhouse. Yes, absolutely. I've seen a lot of people do that. Those, they make really cute birdhouses. Absolutely. I think Beth made one during that same event. I was just going to say, I remember that Beth did that when you did the fishbowl. Fishbowl, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay, so now I'm just going to stuff this with uh, floral foam, and then I have some packaging foam, guys. Uh, to fill in the spot, you're not going to see this, um, so it'll be just fine. And I haven't added any of the bling yet, but we'll highlight the. Uh, we'll go. Over, we'll dry brush the wood you bend, and then we'll add a little bit of bling. But I don't think it needs too much. So I'm just going to stuff these kind of down in here to uh, fill it up. Use a little bit of hot glue, 
and this will help keep its shape. And if y'all join kind of late, guys, I did take a piece of plastic and then I just kind of bent it. It broke, but, you know, it still had a piece large enough to put down in there and that kind of holds the shape as well. Plus, this was kind of a floppy boot, to be honest. And now I'm just going to put the floral foam down in there and then we can add our flowers. I did not bring any moss, but I think I have some raffia over there I might use. We'll see so we Sandy it. says, oh my gosh, if I have it on my porch, everybody would want it, the boot. <laughs> and then Grandma Joe's says, I need a tour of his craft shed soon. Oh, guys, I showed it last night on my page. I've showed it a couple times. But, you know, it's still not decorated and I got stuff everywhere. More so today mm. because I've got, we're having that auction at six. So mm. I brought everything out here. My girls just went out the door, but at least they're not on the roof today. They went on the roof last night. <laughs> me to death. My, and I had a guys, when I get nervous, my my leg shakes, so then my booty shakes. So oh my goodness. Huh? Does that happen to you? No. Oh. No, so I just have a shaky booty when I'm nervous. So. You have a shaky booty. I love it. Okay, let me show you all the florals that we're going to be using. I don't know if we'll use them all, but this is what I selected. Yellows, blues, and whites. I've been obsessed with them. I can't help it. So this is what I'm using today. Sunflowers, the big ones came from Dollar General. The, yellow, the smaller sunflowers came from Dollar Tree. The white ones came from Dollar Tree. And the blue ones came from Dollar General. So all dollar store flowers, guys. Okay. Now start with these three. These are my three largest flowers. I'm going to fill in the rest. I do have some rope that I might be adding. I'm not sure. We got lots of stuff that we could add, but we'll see if it needs it. Just looking for my wire cutters. They're here somewhere. Ooh. What's Troy getting into today? Is he excited to move? Um, I think he's putting it together now because we've gone to the house a couple of times. Uh -huh. uh, the boxes, you know, are going on. So he, I think he's putting it together now that, okay, oh, I think, I think we're doing this thing again. <laughs> okay, here you are. How about that? Uh, oh, good. I think he'll, he'll love. <laughs> Elaine says, booty shake? Mine's shaking over this boot. Oh my gosh, you're so funny. Okay, so I'm going to take the little tags off, guys. They do have little price tags, but it's okay. Take them off. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue, and then I'm going to center these three, and then I'm going to fill in the sides with white flowers and greenery. Um, so I'm just going to stick this down in the floral foam. Becky Ross wants to know if you got your moves from Elvis. Oh, no, Brian, no. I'm going to have to cut this some more. No, no. Yes, Marie Doss. He sh sure was. She said, Marie Marie Doss says that booty was shaking last night. Ooh, I was scared. It took me a took me a little while for my heart to go back in my. Heart. I bet it's that. Yeah, and all that adrenaline, and then when you, <laughs> you yeah. know, oh, there's my, there's my babies. I know it. I, everything was fine. At least they're smart. That's what I told Blake. I said, at least they're smart because, you know, in our old place in Roanoke, we had a bunch of neighbors and uh, there was a guy that moved in with his dog and he lived on the second floor. And the first day that he moved in, his dog like went on the porch and jumped straight off into a bush. No. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, is that dog okay? Because it was a long ways down. I'm going to short this. Oh thing. my goodness. Yeah, it was very scary, but luckily they're, they didn't do that, so let's change my battery here. We've got almost 400 friends today, Mr. Thank y'all for being here, guys. I had tons of stuff I was planning on adding to this, but I, I think that we got a lot going on already, so I'm going to shorten this one just a little bit. I learned all Carla these. says, how will you keep them off the roof? Uh, well, they came in the door, thank goodness. Yeah. But, you know, or my craft shack, last night we were working in resin, guys, and I asked Stacy's husband to open the door a little bit so that the resin could beams would go out, and he opened it a little too much, but we just wasn't thinking, but nobody was hurt, so that's good. 
It's all fine. Okay. Uh oh. Rita Welsh just gave you a new name. Instead what? of just crafting, it's just shaken. Just shaken. Uh oh. <laughs> Girl, just shaken. Okay, so I'm going to add these flowers. We're just about done. Jill Humphrey, our friend from the UK, said, I visited Roanoke when I was uh, 12. She's now 62. Oh, wow. I'm sure it's changed a little bit since then. They used to have the trolley car and all kinds of crazy stuff, but not in a moment. It's a little bit more modernized. I try to go there once a month, but I don't think I'm going to make it this month. I've already talked to my friends. Uh, but, you know, out of the seven months that I've been down here, only missed one month, so that's not too bad. I'll try to go back and see everybody. And hopefully they'll come down here. Oh, well, look who we have here. Hello, Solly Joe. Hey, Solly, how you doing? Solly, we're using what you been today. <laughs> and Solly, it's my, it's Terry Lightsey, the voice in the background. <laughs> yes. She's on your page. Yeah. So guys, Solly is the owner of Witch Bin. So that's cool. We got Witch Bin and we got Decoupage Queen in here today. Yeah. Now we just need Josie and then we'll have all of our people. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. <laughs> yeah, come on. Just kidding. I'm on her page tomorrow. Are you? Yeah. Uh, wait, no, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Sunday, Monday. Tomorrow yeah, I'm in a mystery tomorrow. box. Yeah, tomorrow I'm in a mystery box event. So it's so okay. Miss Roly Poly says she can't wait to see you soon. Oh yeah, are you going to the event? Yep, she'll be there. Woohoo! Guys, I'm so excited to meet everybody and hug everybody. And we're gonna have such a good time. I'm excited for my craft. I'm excited for the casino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd be even more to... excited if you take some of the casino's money. Yes, that's that's what I'm hopeful for, but I might not be in there too much, you know, plus it can be a problem. Oh, Solly, so it's raining in California, too. She's asking what's the weather like because it's raining where she, for her. Well, before I'm done, I'll show you my view. Uh, it's beautiful here today for a change. And that I was listening to the radio, and they were talking about maybe some storms on Tuesday, I think, but nothing too crazy. So it should be nice. So I'm just going to fill them in with these white flowers. And I've got some little yellow ones that we'll put kind of in the bottom, guys. But y'all know that I'm not a floral designer. I, well, I was just going to say, so Jane says the boot is turning out fabulous. And then Beverly says you should be a florist. You're doing a great job. Oh, no, friend. I just do my best. I tell everybody you don't have to be a professional in anything. As long as you like it, that's all that matters. So I'm going to add a few more of these white ones, and then I'm going to add some, uh, a little bit more greenery. We're just about done. But all these flowers, guys, came from dollar stores, so I didn't spend a lot of money on them. But the dollar stores have really stepped up their game in the last few years, I feel like. Especially the yellow one. Okay, we'll add some of these little blue ones, too. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and clip these. But guys, these are only a dollar at the dollar-ish, or at the... Uh, Dollar Central. I love that you because it, it's so true. The dollar ish. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, I was in there today. I had to get some tissue paper and thank you cards and you know different things. I had to get ready for the uh, auction. Ah, Christine Mountain says your best is always great. Oh, you so kind. Thank you, friend. These came from Dollar's Tree, and these are called uh, plastic greenery. That's all it says, plastic greenery. <laughs> I love that. Oh, name. Justin, Peggy says, I won $1,200 last night in my little casino, so I'm ready oh. for your auction. Oh, very nice. Well, friend, that's, I'm trying to make some gambling money, so come <laughs> on at the auction. Make sure it's 6 o'clock. Yeah, no. 6 o'clock. Don't be late. Be there, be square, mm -hmm. as they say. Okay, so I'm going to add a few little blues in here. And then I can just kind of glue it in as we go. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. 
It'd be fine, guys. Well, everybody is saying that it's amazing. It's beautiful. They love it. So sweet. Yeah, guys, keep getting your comments in because she is going to do a prize pack giveaway for our just joining. So you could win some decoupage papers today. And then I'm going to do a giveaway as well. Okay, I'm just filling these in. Just about done. Add some whites. And then I'm just going to take some hot glue and fill in all these stems so that it don't come out. Now everybody's saying congratulations to Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are awesome. Congratulations, Peggy. It's amazing. I'm hopeful, you know. Oh. <laughs> Is the boot going to be in the auction, Justin? It will be, guys. It's going to be in tonight's sale. So, you know, if you like it, I will seal this after the live. So I'm going to use a waterproof sealer. Um, Solly's here. That's the, that's the sealer I'm going to be using. They have the posh... Uh, the infuser and it's mm -hmm. a waterproof uv protects it uh sealer guys it's amazing because so, peggy says she's definitely bidding on this boot oh very very cool thank you friend okay this i think i'm gonna add a few daisies and then we're done with the flowers well maybe this too i gotta add this thing it's cool it's like this it's cool i'm gonna put it right in the front some thistle. Okay, and then I'm just gonna add a few daisies and that's enough. We don't need to keep going, keep going. I was gonna add more, okay, we'll add some more yellows. Terry, I'm terrible with flowers. I don't know when to stop. Uh, well, it's it's gorgeous. I don't know what you be. I love if it, it. If it ain't full, then I'm like, eh, what's going on here? No, I, yeah, I get that. Okay, so these are called Billy's Balls. I'm gonna use some Billy, some of these. Uh, okay. Very odd name for a flower, but they sure are beautiful. I love them. I um, them. Grandma Joe wants to know if you're selling palette stuff tonight too. Yes, ma'am. Uh huh. And guys, it's not just blankets, but I do have a lot of blankets and pillows, and I've got some quilts that are very, very beautiful. I I bought a lot of stuff that's not from the palette, but it was was from the auction, so I paid you know full price for it, but. Still a good deal, a lot cheaper than Amazon charges, but I've got a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I have the, has anybody ever heard of a cocktail uh, smoker? I've never heard of that in my life. Like I said, we get some real weird stuff. It's like fancy people stuff. And I'm like, oh, so you can smoke your cocktails or your, or your meats with it. It's very cool. Glorious yeah. Montgomery says, Justin, you're so talented and inspiring. Oh I love everything you do. Y'all are so kind. Thank you, friends. Oh, my goodness. Are you ready for this one? Brenna Gorman says, this is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. Abs oh, my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. Bootiful. <laughs> you're so kind. Okay, so now I'm just going to hit it with the silver one more time, guys. Then we're going to add a few little embellishments and we're done. Y'all been how long have I been on? An hour? You're only an hour and eight. Okay, we're just about done. So I'm just gonna highlight this with a little bit of silver. And then I will uh, seal it. So it's all gonna be a shiny look. Sorry about that. I thought I put that thing on silent. Okay. All right, and then we'll just add Ooh, I got all this stuff, and I was like, where should we add it? I had a rooster. Yeah, that was my neighbor's up on the hill. That rooster is mean, y'all. It's mean. Because sometimes they go out of town, and I feed it grass and stuff, and I want to open that coop. He says, just go ahead and open the coop and throw it on in there. Every time I open that coop, he comes at me with his spurs, and I'm like, no. Oh, he, he shuffles at you, huh? Yeah, but, I mean, he's just doing what a rooster's supposed to do. He's keeping them protected. Guys, yeah. I'm bling and i don't know if i like the bling i had it laid out because i thought i was going to use some but now that i'm looking at it i don't like the bling i think that the woodsy band is fancy enough and i think the papers is fancy enough but we didn't oh. um rita wants to know what's keep keeping it from tipping over uh, well i filled it with rocks and then i used plastic 
to keep the shape. So I filled it with rocks and glue and then uh, put plastic around here and floral foam so it will keep its shape. And now I'm just going to add some life, guys, and we'll be done. I think that that's all it needs. We could keep going and going, but I don't think that it needs anything else. I think it's happy. So I'm just going to throw some lights in here. Um, yes, Lori, his, he's still doing his auction at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Yes, I hope to see you there. And I'll be on Chris Hunter's page tonight, guys, at like 10-ish. I don't have <laughs> that time, but around 10 -ish. Everybody's like, okay, I heard a rooster too. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we in the country, y'all. We don't, we don't have chickens yet, but we plan on getting some in like two, three years, probably. Probably not anytime soon because, you know, if you get animals, they got to have a shelter and we don't, we, we got to build a barn and everything. That's going to take a long time. It took us six months with the craft shack, so probably take us three years for a barn. No. <laughs> okay. Probably. Okay, I'm just going to tilt these out. So I think that we're done, guys. But this is what it looks like. And it does have some wrinkles in the leather, which I think that that looks cool. And then we got the bird on, on the front. We've got spurs that we kind of made up with the fishing lure. And then it's got lights and burlap and flowers. And I think it, I like it. But it's I will seal this, though. And I'll seal it, and then it'll be shiny and ready to go. So It's amazing. I love it. So fun, and I'm everybody's just saying gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, looks amazing, uh -oh. looking wonderful. I'm gonna turn off these lights, maybe you can see the lights twinkle. And I don't know if, uh, all right, never mind. Aw, look at the twinkling, yeah, it's got a little bit of a twinkle. Oh, y'all don't need to oh. see that. That's the dog's couch. Aww, it's, yeah. Okay, now everybody is beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah, that was fun. I had a good time, but I didn't use all my flowers, but that's okay. I do have a little butterfly I might add on there. So, guys, I have uh, four of these left. Or, no, I've got six. So, we'll do, I'll do two winners, and then since I have six, then you'll get three each. So you'll get three birds each, okay? How cool. One, yeah. All right, so that's my project. Hello, everybody. Well, thank you so very much, everyone. So let's look at this bull wheel. Check this puppy out. <laughs> look at that. Good, cuggly, muggly. Wow, we y'all showed up today. I know. All righty, let's get a winner. Good luck. Good luck. I'm gonna put this little butterfly on here too. Kathy Roberts. Kathy, congratulations. Kathy Roberts, congratulations, Miss Kathy. Awesome. Miss Kathy, I am going to. One moment. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Right oh. here. Terry. T-E-R-I. One R, please, Miss Kathy. Terry at decoupagequeen.com. Send me your address and I'll send you a goodie bag of decoupage queen rice papers. Congratulations. So now, Mr. How do you want to do yours? Uh you can you want to do the wheel again? Sure. Is that okay? I can do that. Okay, so guys, I have two of these. So you'll get this little bird. You'll get three out of the four birds, okay? This one, this one, and then this one. Beautiful. Love it. All right. So we need three of them? Uh, just two. Two winners? Two winners, yeah. Okay. Two winners get three. Two pieces. winners, three, three birds. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. Let's do this again. Good luck. So exciting. I love that wheel. <laughs> I know you love it too. I do. It drives uh Shelly nuts. Miss Edie Dickinson. Okay. All right, Edie, I'm gonna write your name down. Miss Edie Dickinson. And you want them to message you, Justin? Yes, please. Please message okay. me your address. Okay. And let's do one more. Oops. 
Miss Shauna Roberts. Shauna, all right. Miss Shauna Roberts, congratulations. So Miss Edie and Miss Shauna, please make sure you message Justin your <laughs> information so he can get you out to your birds. So yes. congratulations, everyone. Yes, congratulations, and thank you all for being here, guys. Absolutely, and thank you, Justin, for joining me today. Well, my pleasure. I always look forward to it. <laughs> well, we hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Uh, next weekend, I actually have Miss Linda from Circle Heart Creations. Oh, very cool. So come That'll back cool. next weekend, and you can try for a goodie bag because we do that every Saturday. So. Awesome. Anyhow, hope everyone has a great rest of your weekend, and we'll see you soon. All right. Bye, guys. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. -bye.